So this question starts off by giving us, giving us this equation, y equals 3x plus 12. It goes on to say one of the two linear equations in a system is given, right? y equals 3x plus 12 is that one. I'm going to just rewrite that down here. The next sentence says the system has no solution. So first of all, what does it mean for a system to have no solution? So usually what we want to have is like a 0 does not equal some other number or just a number does not equal another number as our um, outcome by using the process of elimination for a system of equations, which means that both the x variable and the y variable both will be eliminated simultaneously, leaving us only with integers, right? And those integers should not be equal to each other because if they are equal to each other, it's not a situation in which we'd say we have no solution, it'd be more so a situation in which we'd say we have infinitely many solutions. So let's see how this plays out. And hopefully, if what I just said did not make sense, it will start to make a lot more sense. So for instance, if I try answer choice A, I'm going to first of all, make this look like the original equation by simplifying and distributing the three across. So this is going to become y equals three x plus nine. Now, when I use, when I have a system of equations and I use elimination, I'm looking at, well, what variable can I eliminate? So let's say I decided to eliminate the y variable. Well, I have a positive y here. So if I just were to make this a negative down here, but that means I'd have to make everything else negative as well. That would allow me to eliminate the y term, give me a zero here. But what happens to my x term? It also ends up being eliminated, right? 3x minus 3x is zero. And then 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. So here is this example here, right? 0 does not actually equal 3, even though that's what we got as a result of doing process of elimination here, or doing the elimination method on this system of equations. So this is our answer, in fact, right? So this is no solution. This is exactly what we expect to see when we have a system of equations that has no solution. So A is the correct answer. Let me show you what happens, for instance, if I were to try choice B. Choice B, right, again, I distribute the 3 across. I end up with y equals 3x plus 12. Notice that that is exactly the same as the original equation in the system that was provided. We use elimination here, and the y's are gone, the x's are gone, but also the 12 is gone. So I end up with 0 equals 0. And that actually is a true statement, right? It's not like what we had before, 0 equaling 3, which was not a true statement. 0 does, in fact, equal 0. And this is an example of the solution being infinitely many solutions. So infinitely many. So if you have another question on the SAT that says the system of equations should lead to there being infinitely many solutions, just know that this is what you're aiming for. You want, right, you want um, the equations to be exactly the same. That's one way to get it. Another way is you want, once you've done elimination, for you to have zero equals zero. Or some number, it could be five equals five. As long as it's true, then you're going to have infinitely many solutions.